Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr Clockwork Apple and welcome to Clockwork Previews. Essentially this is going to be me playing a game for an hour and talking bollocks into my microphone here. So it's standard Let's Play Affair. Um, I'm going to be playing Renowned Explorers International Society. It's a little game I found on Steam, I quite enjoy it. So let's just get this booted up and start playing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing sort of a whole playthrough of the game, it's just an hour of me messing around having a bit of fun. Okay, let me just um, mess around with some of my settings here so I can see the whole window on my screen. Um, diddly do, press that one. Yeah, I had the, um, the start bar covering up the bottom of the window here. Okay, so I'll just give you a basic run over of what this game's about. Um, just check my sound is coming over just fine. Yep, I think I'm more audible than the game is. Might turn the game down a little bit more. So the point of this game is you have to explore the world, make discoveries and all kinds of good stuff like that. Um, so we've got discovery modes and adventure modes. I'm going to be playing adventure mode because that's that means permanent death. If I die, that's it, it's game over. Uh, I can't come back from a game over at all. <clears throat> and I'm going to be playing on normal as well, just, just for the preview. Okay, so first I've got to select my captain. Um, I haven't unlocked all the captains yet, I've unlocked most of them. I'll explain how to unlock them in just a minute. First, let's break over how this game actually works. There's three ways to progress through the game. Friendly, devious, and aggressive. Aggressive is exactly what you expect it to be, being violent, attacking people, and so on and so forth. Uh, hang on, I just got a pop-up. Uh, get rid of that. Um, being devious is essentially using insults and threats to make your opponent not want to fight anymore. And being friendly is making them join your side. Not join your side, but they don't want to fight you anymore because they like you. So I'm going to be going for friendly, which means I'm going to start with Kwame Amankaita as my player. Basically because he is the absolute best person for playing friendly. So he comes with the skill Diplomat, which basically I'll explain what that's for later. So then we want two other teammates. You can have... Any crew mem any of these people can be a crew member, but you've got to go on an adventure with them several times before you can unlock them as a captain. Okay, so we want people who don't have diplomats down here. Because otherwise we'd be just be you know duplicating ourselves, it'd be no point. So let's see, who's good at being friendly? Um Might as well try this character. I yeah, it looks like I haven't actually used her at all yet, so we'll do that. Uh, it says here she's good at healing, so that would be quite useful. And let's see, who else? Who else have I not used enough to work with? Uh, okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, I suppose Ivan here, he looks kind of useful. Um, have a bit of aggressiveness if we need to get into a physical fight, which would be useful. Not too good at being friendly, but I think we can work around this. So let's just start our adventure. Yep, so there's the three of us. Now we've got to go out and discover everything there is to discover. Now, here's my first minor complaint of the game. The loading screen music is very catchy and the loading screens aren't long enough. <laughs> That's such a bizarre complaint. That, you know, not enough loading, but oh well. Alright, I won't bother reading out all the text. It should come across just fine. Um, I'll just give you the basics. So we need to find a druidic stone circle. That's our first mission here. So it's time for an adventure. Let's see where we have to go. Okay, so that's where we've got to get to. Now, here's how the basic rundown of the game works. We've got seven supplies at the minute. Each time we move to another place, it costs a supply. We need to explore as much as we can and get to here before we run out of supplies. If we run out of supplies, we don't get a game over, but we do start getting debuffs that will be really damaging to our party, so... Let's have a look see what we can do here. Alright, both these are essentially the same. We've got a nature challenge, and there's research to be done. Um, this one looks a bit further away, so let's go for that. Alright, Irvin has found a weird colourful stone, so let's take a look at it. Uh, yep, we got a point of study, so as the game goes on you'll get different resources up here 
which can be used in various ways once we've finished our adventure. When we get when we get back to base, we can use these. All right, there's nothing here. Although that might be a secret spot, but I'll explain that in a minute. Here we've got another nature challenge, some treasure and research. So let's go there. Okay, there's a huge cliff with some treasures. So let's examine the cliff. The crew comes back to make a plan. Right? Well, since, since Ivan is an athlete, he can make, you know, he can do this because of his special skill. So let's send him up to climb the cliff and get some treasure. So we're we looking for a quartz, a fossil, or crystals. Now, out of these, I think the fossil sounds most interesting, personally. The um, you lifelong lost kind of thing. That's very interesting to me. So let's look for the fossil. And we got two more points of research as well. So we have a 75% chance for the ammonite fossil, a 13% chance for the druid quartz or the sunstone. Oh, well, we got the sunstone. Okay, so we can have a discovery, some gold, or scouts gaining a 10% speech. Now, Kwame here is a scout, so that could be useful. So I'm going for that. Yep, and we get another point of discovery. We're getting plenty of that. Um, as far as I haven't found any encounters yet, it's bound to be one sooner or later. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go to this empty spot here. That opens up a bit of map. Hey, we found the hidden horde of the expedition. So you'll find just an empty space where you can get a little extra stuff. Is all. So do we want gold, a discovery, or a secret? Let's go for the secret. Aha, an encounter. That's what I'm looking for. A group of wolves are being protective and territorial. They're launching an attack on us. Okay, so this is our first encounter. I need to adjust my microphone, make sure I'm coming in clear here. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our first encounter. And basically, an encounter can be solved several ways, as I mentioned earlier. Friendly, devious, or aggressive. We're going for friendly. So this is a sort of turn-based RPG style setup. We've got our three characters here, our enemies over here, and these yellow spots here, if you stand in them, your spirit comes back. Spirit is basically your health in this game. So let's check out our enemy. The brown wolf is fast and aggressive, but relatively weak compared to others of its kin. Now they're weak to being terrified, which, since we're not being devious, isn't any use to us. Now one thing I should explain. This is the attitude system. Our enemy is being aggressive. Since we're being friendly, that means they'll get a bonus against us, which isn't very good. If we were being devious, we'd get a bonus against them. So being friendly means we'll be good against devious people, but weak against aggressive. So without further ado, let's go start being friendly to the wolves that are trying to kill us. So see, we've got excite, excite, and... Damn it, we've only got excite. That's not good, but oh well. Yep, so she's being nice and friendly to the wolf to try and make it happy. And, so look, because we're being friendly and they're being aggressive, we lose armor, so they'll do more damage to us. That's, as you can guess, not good. <coughs> no, I haven't really thought this through very well. Alright, that's one thing I should do. You can use friendly moves on your own allies to give them a boost. Give them some spirit back, as well as giving them some special status boosts. So now that Kwame is excited, his excite will do more damage. It'll excite the enemy even further, so we can take this wolf out in one move. Yet we talk of world peace and the wolf gets excited about our cause and runs off to cheer from the sidelines. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that we've only got excited because that kind of lowers my tactical opportunities. But it does mean I can give myself the best boost for being friendly.
Uh, so I sent Ivan over here to excite her a bit so she gets a bit of health back. Yeah, I see Ivan isn't the best character for being friendly. He's got quite low speech power. But, you know, nothing I can do about that right now. I've made my decision and I regret it already, but oh well. So being friendly has proven its worth. We get a bit of a bonus next time we solve a problem being friendly. Uh, it only lasts for this expedition though. It took some time but the wolves understand we're not a threat. Ah, oh, and they're protecting their puppies. I love wolf puppies. Alright, so there's a couple of things I need to show off now. Because we solved that being... Alright, we haven't got that yet, don't worry. So we've just got our first campfire story. Essentially these are special bonuses you can get throughout the game. You know, they last the whole adventure. Okay, um... So that'll give us more renown. That'll be useful later on, so I'll keep that. And that'll give us more study. Well, this gives us even more study anyway, so, uh... Hmm. I guess we'll do field research. Let's do that. Okay, so we just get a bit more study points. That can be useful later on. Okay, we can come here to get a bit more supplies, or we can go there to do more research. We've got plenty of research right now, and very little else actually, so let's go for the supplies. Okay, that's good. So we can keep exploring for longer now. Now we've got another encounter, so let's try that out. Yeah. More wolves! We just dealt with the wolves! <clears throat> oh, I think I'm getting a cold. Yeah, so we would get a bonus if we solved this aggressively, but as I said, I'm trying to be friendly, so let's not do that. Okay, so get Kwame nice and excited. And wander over here to start chatting to the wolves. Yes, let us talk of peace and friendship. That will that will deal with these wily canines. Apparently her attack is to whack it with a shovel, but... As I said, I'm not being aggressive unless necessary, so let's not do that. Alright, so I'll turn over. Oh, I should mention up here... Oh, it's gone. Up here is Resolve. Every time a character falls in battle, we lose a Resolve. Once we run out of Resolve, that's game over. So we need to make sure that number up there doesn't hit zero. Okay, get rid of this guy. And I'll get Ivan to go finish this wolf off. <laughs> By talking to us about a teddy bear, apparently. <laughs> What did he say to the wolf? Exactly. Hey, we got... S so stories like these will do well with the Renown Explorers. So we got campaign as well. Alright. So since we solved our account of being friendly, that means this guy wants to join us. We can get special followers who will basically give us bonuses, which means our resources are worth more. So, um, I guess I should make him a trader. So we'll get more gold when we encounter, when we go through encounters. That would be useful. Yep, there he is. He's now a she, and is apparently from a different country entirely, but oh well. Alright, so we can level up now. Each character has these different level trees, as you can see here. Basically, each time you level up, you get a choice of one of two things, and you'll get whatever's in the middle here. So we can make him a better athlete, or we can give him naturalist, which will go along with Amelia here. She's also a naturalist, but this will give us the extra bonus if necessary. I think I want to keep him athlete. 
So let's see what the others can do. So she can get Archaeologist as well. And Kwame can get Quick Thinker. So I'll start with giving Kwame Quick Thinker to give us more chances to do challenges and stuff. He'll also get Chia, which is quite useful. So let's unlock Quick Thinker. Um, do we want more Naturalist or do we want Archaeologist? Uh, okay, um, we also get Tranquility, that's quite useful I imagine. Let's go for Archaeologist and I'll keep him being an athlete. Okay, so let's keep moving. Nature challenge. I don't want to go to the final area until we run out of supplies. So otherwise we're just wasting them. Okay. So this is our first um, chances challenge, as I like to call them. Let's move my microphone a bit. Basically, depending on your stats, you get higher chances of you know, working this out. You know, it'll roll a thing. I forgot what it's called. Roll a wheel. And the higher your chances on this bit are, the more chance the wheel will succeed. Or you can take the coward's way out and go for just a basic bonus. But I think we've got 57% chance to succeed, so let's let's take the risk here. If we fail, we get nothing. Damn it! So we found nothing. Oh well, it was only a point of research anyway. There's research everywhere in this place. Let's see, look, research, research, one piece of gold there. Research, research, everything's bloody research on this island. Alright, let's go for the look at something odd. Okay, someone's going to get a passion for biology. That's going to be good. Um, I think Amelia would do that best. She's a scientist. And she gains Naturalist Biology perk. So since she was already a Naturalist, that's useful since it gives her... Wait a minute. She already had Naturalist Biology! That was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, this, isn't very, this isn't a very good start to this. Oh well. Oh, Kwame fell over. Ah, but we get some extra study, because he found some mould with his... Uh... Oh well. So we've only got one supply left, so let's go on to the final encounter, shall we? Yep, onwards, let's go. <coughs> so we found a menhire. Now, familiar laughter, that doesn't sound good. Ah, oh, no, it's Rivalu. So this guy is like, well, you can probably tell by his name, he's our rival. They didn't put a lot of thought into naming this guy, I don't think. Um, uh, so he's setting his goon here, Amir. He's setting him on us to basically try and stop us. Okay, let's just wait for the battle to load up. Okay, so we've got three ways to do this. If we're friendly, Amir thinks we're weak. If we're devious, he admires our sharpness. And we're aggressive, he's mildly impressed. Now, they're being devious, which means our friendly attitude will give us a bonus. So let's check out what our new abilities do as well. Okay, um... Alright, so that's a... That's a sort of heal effect in a circle. That's quite useful. And Chia is a long distance boost, I guess. So I'll start. And he's got Pinning Strike, which will stop someone moving for a while. So I'll start by exciting Kwame. Give him the boost. A boost, sorry, I said boast. And here's Amir Akhtar. He's weak to being made confident, which we don't have. And he'll try and make us sad. We don't we want to avoid that because apparently... Apparently that's bad. Let's just see if... Alright, we can't get him free. Oh, wait a minute. That's a heal move only. Oh well. Let's start by getting rid of these goons. Oh, hey. 
So we get more speech defense because we're being the better man right now. Which means their insults and stuff won't be as useful against us. Okay, uh, yeah, so we can give everyone the excited perk. Let's do that. And in turn. Ah, he called us pants! Yeah, the insults are generally pretty funny in this game, I must admit. Oh, he messed up. <laughs> How do you mess up threatening someone? I mean, all that. I don't see it. How? What's he doing wrong? Yeah, I suppose he forgot to growl about swords. I guess that's what he did wrong. Okay, so these guys, they'll keep respawning if we get rid of them. The battle only ends when we take out Amir here. Which shouldn't be quite easy by the looks of it. Aha! Our talk of world peace has intrigued him. Yeah, so that's quite easy. It's only the first boss, though. This game gets a lot harder later on. Haha! -ha, your kindness is weakness! Bye! And he's taken the men higher away! How did he do that? A hooded figure appears on scene. As a druid! So, do we want to be famous and respected, wealthy and successful, or make a contribution to science? But well, I'm look I want that Baryonyx claw there, and if you want to be famous and respected, that's the best way to get it. So let's go for the Baryonyx claw, hopefully. So we find popular truffles and a unique treasure. Oh! I wanted the Baryonyx claw! Oh, let's get some more gold. So, back to London. And that was our first um, expedition. The later ones take longer to do, obviously. There's our treasures. Uh, here's the resources we gathered. Uh, we missed out entirely on treasure during this thing. I mean, we got some gold, but no actual treasure points, which is bizarre. I've normally got tons of them. And we are sympathetic scientists, apparently. Ah, we're in Ireland. Ireland doesn't have any wolves, does it? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So we get... I won't bother with the tutorial, I'll just carry on to the next bit. And we get our membership and extra two supplies, which is apparently dog food. So, we've got a lot to get through here, so... First off, we've got insights. This is basically what we've learned during our expedition. We can go to one of these three places down here and spend it to get more resources. So I'm going to spend it campaigning in Paris, which will mean we can get some more uh, crew members, essentially. Well, followers, I should say. since that's what I'm going to be going for here. Yeah, we've already got the one helper. So we can get helpers, which just give us more resources, more stuff for our resources, and specialists, which do, well, special stuff. So I'll start by getting each of these helpers. Check out the other place. And damn it! Okay, I went... I went too low there. Uh, we can't get any of these guys yet. We can get more helpers though. Okay, uh, I want a journalist. And a merchant. Okay, so let's do some... We can spend research on science papers here. So this looks good for us since it goes around the um, campaign, which is what we're going for, which is the green stat. So let's go for history. 
So we can get a lobbyist or an extra insect. Let's go for the insect. And the history. And we can't get any more than that. Let's spend our insight again. And get more of these guys. Okay, I think that's all we can do here today. Yeah, that's... No, nope, we've still got some gold we can spend. Get some equipment. So what we want is the decent book. Start by getting one of those for all our characters, since that means their friendly tactics will be better. And some defense. Start by unequipping them, see what their basic stats are. So Kwame has low regular defense. She has low regular defense, he has low speech defense. So. Let's give him that, and Kwame that, to get get them a bit better. And uh, I guess I'll re-equip her with the basic one. She's okay for a minute. Alright, so let's do another expedition. I'm not going to do all five expeditions to complete the game. I'm just going to do two of them. Just to show you what the game's about, really. So we've got a few places we can go. We can go to the Hungarian Fort. We can go for the Marley Mystery. Or we can go for Caribbean Island. I think Hungarian Fort, I think this is somewhere where they like to be devious, so us being friendly will balance that out quite well, actually. So uh, let's just go. Let's do this. Getting stiff shoulders here. Intense. Uh, let's have a quick swig of my bottle of cola here because my throat's going dry ah. okay we're looking for a secret fort which had an alchemy laboratory <coughs> there it is okay so let's see where we can go now we've got quick, a bit of quick thinker, so we might be able to get through that one there. We've got an encounter there. Athlete and naturalist, that's the way to go. We've got best chances of getting through this one. Yeah, Ivan's got 100% here, so... <coughs> you pick him. And we got some supplies. Okay, got an encounter or some treasure. Uh, let's think here. I could go there and then down here, I think. Let's do that. Yeah, these guys are creepy. I imagine this is what the shy guys from Mario look like if they take their masks off. So they're trying to take these truffles away, but we can hopefully beat these guys and get the truffles for ourselves, which will get some status. <clears throat> or is it status? Alright, we get no bonus either way from doing this, so let's be friendly. So they're being devious here, so being friendly is the way forward. Start with our boost. Alright, let's check a look at these guys then. Rookie cultists are trying to be terrifying, but are still in training. They will still talk you down. And these are straight up regular cultists. We've got brown cultists to the rookies and regular cultist here. He's a bit tougher. So we want to take out him first. Or should I... T hmm. Yeah, I want to go for this guy first. I love that sound effect, by the way. That little laugh he does. Um, I don't know if it'll come across in the video. It's like this hollow, distant laugh. It's really creepy and really cool. Okay, so I'll see if Ivan can finish this guy off. No. Ah, I can terrify him. That's a good thing. I can finish him off this way. 
So as you see, my little devious meter there built up a little bit, but providing it doesn't go over the friendly meter, I'm still being friendly. Yeah, so... You can do a little bit of devious or aggressive stuff, but you generally want to use friendly things if you're going for the friendly... Um, you know, friendly attitude. Obviously, if you're being devious or aggressive, go for those. But you can mix and match if necessary. Alright, we're getting surrounded here. This isn't good. Hey, <laughs> you fumbled. Alright, uh, can I move these? I can't move her into the special healing spot yet. But I can get rid of this guy. Oh, I'd never noticed that that effect before. I just noticed when the camera rotated, the reflections in the water changed. That was that was quite detailed. Can I can I rotate the camera? I don't think I can rotate the camera. Oh well, I just have to look out for it as all. Does that look quite cool? Um, let's think here. Yeah, I've got enough. I've emptied out my devious bar, so I can be devious again to get rid of one of these guys. That's okay. I love his attempt at being devious. He's like so nervous about it. It's like, uh, I'm gonna punch you, maybe. Uh, kinda. Let's yeah, see, look at that reflection. That is cool. That is attention to detail. I love that. So they give us the truffles because they like us, and apparently eating them is forbidden anyway. Yep, and we get another follower as well. Uh, let's get another lobbyist. So this is why Kwame is the best character for being friendly. He gets so many followers if you play, you know, if you play it right. Okay, um, which way do I go? I probably should start heading that way. Yeah, you know, I don't want to run out of supplies too early. Okay, he found a scary book. We can get another encounter. Well, let's go up here. There's loads of stuff to be done here. Okay, so this is a quick thinking one. Um, all right, if we succeed, we get plenty of good stuff. If we fail, we get minus five grit. So grit is your chance to um, dodge attacks, basically. So let's avert this with our quick thinking, hopefully. Yeah, hey! He succeeded this time. And he distracts the wolves. And we can keep moving. Okay, here's a cultural challenge for a diplomat or archaeologist. Well, we've got points in that, so let's go do that. Ah, and Kwame has got 100%. So let's um, let's convince these villagers. And they like us now. That's good. That's simple. Ooh, we've got another challenge over here. Let's do the same one. Okay, Amelia can do an archaeological study, which is 82% chance. Let's go for it. But she is carrying a shovel already. No, 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 no! Oh, come on! Oh, well. Now we've got a chance for a campfire story. Alright, so this is Kwame's special story. Um, every time you complete a expedition, you get more of these cards. And every character has one special card. Uh, you know, unique to them. So let's take a look here. Um, I'll keep the resolve card. And I'll use Kwame's special card. So this gives him a special effect. Um, let's have a look what it does here. He pleads for a cultural leader to gain renown and campaign on cultural challenges, and he gets plus two speech at minus two attack for a level of diplomat. So that's going to be good for him. There's always a bit of a risk of these special cards, but I think they're generally worth doing. Let's do it. 
He feels the crew should always try for a culturally sensitive approach. Additionally, it would be beneficial if just one person were to handle cultural challenges if possible. I think, yeah, he's best for doing that, so let's go for it. He believes his kindness and elderly wisdom will make him successful. The crew agrees and make him their front man. Okay, and someone is impressed by his wisdom. So that's the other advantage of these special um, cards, is you can kind of increase the bonds between your party members, which will give us special effects much later on. So Amelia can be impressed by his wisdom. So as you can see, she now gets more speech power because of that. So that's useful. Okay, um, let's have a look here. We go one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best bet, so we'll go here first. Oh, wait, wait. Something special. Okay, I might have to run out of supplies on this. We're looking to help a wolf called the beast. Okay. So if we help them fight this beast, I guess we'll get some kind of reward. So let's do it. So let's see, if we're friendly, the hunters want to help you. If we're devious, the hunters hate us. If we're aggressive, the hunters respect our strength. So being aggressive would be the best bet here. Okay, um, I suppose if we're trying to prove how strong we are, I think I should be aggressive just for the sake of getting this encounter done right. Done right. I'm going to send him down here. You know, I don't really want to be aggressive in this run, but if that gets us the best result in this fight, I think that might be the best option. I mean, Kwame and Amelia aren't very good at being aggressive, though. Especially not Kwame, he's only got like 12 attack. So I guess I'll keep him in the back lines for um, support. Ow! Ooh, that was a, that was a harsh sounding sound effect. Sorry, little wolf. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to. All right. She's got a rifle. She's got a bloody rifle. I'm here onto the shovel and a stick, and she's shooting at me. Jeez. What's wrong with you, lady? You're setting your wolves on me. Okay, I can be friendly a bit about changing the attitude, so let's go for that. Okay, uh, let's punch the wolf. I love how his animation is to close his book and then punch something. You know, it's like, uh, if I really have to fight, let me just put in my bookmark. I don't want to lose my place. Okay, are we done? Boosh! <laughs> Honestly, enough of the gun. You're actually just shooting me now. Okay, give him a boost. And punch an old lady. Oop. Punch the old lady. So I don't normally want to be aggressive, but... You know, they told us to. They wanted that. Ah, so they've given us a flare gun to help deal with the beast. 
And I'm guessing this is going to be the beast down here. Or not. Ooh, supplies. Let's go get supplies. Okay, Kwame is the best one for this. We don't have that good odds, but let's just go with it. Hey! We can explore for longer now. Let's go here. Okay, I think this is because of that book we found earlier. So, Elizabeth's Bathory. Which I'm guessing is just Elizabeth Bathory. So, um, let's approach the man guarding the tomb. Right, so this looks bad. <clears throat> okay, don't push the old man aside. Let's, um... 79% is our best odds here, so let's do that. Hey! Don't touch anything, he says. So we can... He won't do it because he's superstitious. What happens if I click it? Okay. So Kwame can take the painting, or Amelia can take the painting. Okay. This seems like it could be bad. We get a treasure, but I think someone might get a curse. Now I think Amelia's... I think Amelia's going to be better for taking the painting. <clears throat> Something bad has happened to Amelia. Let's see what she's got. Okay, where's her... Ah, here we are. Insane. Minus 10 speech defense. That's not good. Oh, and Kwame can level up. Okay, so he can get limitless excitement, which makes people around him excited. That's good. And he can get African roots, which gives us more more tokens from Timbuktu. Oh, that's for um, when we're back in London. I'm going to go for limitless excitement. That seems more useful. And he gets dance. Oh, cool, so that's useful. He can swap places with a nearby team member and get a temporary defense boost. Let's go here and get some more supplies. That was easy. Let's go here and get more supplies. Okay, so she don't want to let us in because we might be admirers of Elizabeth Bathory, but we've got a 100% chance to convince her we're not, so that's okay. Scary stories. So we can rest the night to get resolve or take some supplies. I definitely want more supplies. And it seems like there's a lot of stuff still to do here. Okay, um, so we get two study if we chicken out, or we can get special bonus stuff. So let's get Amelia to do an archaeological dig. Hey, hey! And she is carrying a shovel. And we get some study and a treasure. So, look how much campaign we've got, I've just noticed. Wow. Let's get more. Okay, there's nothing there. Don't want to go there, because that's the final area. Let's say we can get more supplies over here. Nothing special there. So I think if we go there... So that'd be one, two... Go that way, then there. I think it's going to be our best bet. Nothing special. Nothing special. Hopefully we get some food. Because otherwise I'm going to be 
No, 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 no! Oh no! We are out of supplies. So Ivan loses armor, which means he's now weaker to physical attacks. Okay, let's try and work our way to the final battle then. Yeah, of course we're looking for the sinking cathedral. <coughs> oh no, they're engaging us! I don't know what the heck the sinking cathedral is, but we're looking for it, because it sounds interesting. Although we're out of supplies, so I can't really search for it, can I? Otherwise I'll get really bad status debuffs. So if they're friendly, they tell us everything. If we're devious, we take the... Yeah, so being friendly in this fight is the best answer here, it seems. Okay, let's get a bit of tranquility going. Now we get Kwame's take on these two, because they're tougher. Friendly fun, he says. And we get our more speech defense, because I love me some speech defense. Jeez, this guy's tough. Okay, uh. No, let's just be friendly. By talking to him about teddy bears. Oh, they're trying to scare me. So you've got to admit, that threat is a lot scarier when they're using a scythe instead of a stick. I mean, a stick isn't exactly the most terrifying of things. Alrighty, let's... Let's think this through. Excuse me. Can I... Yeah, so we can swap places like that. Which gives us... Wow, that... How long does that boost last, I wonder? If it lasts a while, that's going to be a useful move. And then we want to get, ready, get away from that guy. He seems dangerous. Ooh, this is getting tense. You know, it's probably the best that they're not swinging those sides, they're just throwing them. No, um, yeah, pointing them, I mean. Oh, damn it, that's bad. That's not good. I need to heal Ivan. Quite badly. Oh, no, that's so little. Yahoo! Okay, let's just go with it. It's all we can do. Hmm. I can hear I'll heal Ivan entirely, or I can try and get rid of one of these guys. I think just ending the fight might be my better option here. Now if I do that, that'll make me devious. Um, I think it's worth it. So what exactly is Ivan doing? You in his threat? Is he just say talking a scary story about a bear? Okay, come down here, and get rid of this guy. Okay, so I thought we were going to lose someone during that fight. Oh, devious victory. Damn. Okay, that's not the result I wanted. Oh well. And we lost some speech defense, that's bad. 
We've got a level up. Okay, um, adventure enthusiast or academic? As we go for adventure enthusiast. And we get the amnesia shot. And we get an extra trinket slot. Uh, we don't have any trinkets to equip yet, but oh well. Hmm. Okay, that could be useful. Anyway, let's just try and finish this, because we're out of supplies, so... We shouldn't hang around. Okay, so I've got to try and beat the Master Alchemist, and if I do that, I think I'll end the video there. You know, whether we win or lose. It's almost an hour of recording, so... I think you'll have a good idea of what this game's about. Okay, let's try and not die. You know, not dying is one of my favourite things, you know. I might have an I I think I'm having an idea. If I use Devious to scare this guy away... Yeah, that makes us tense, which means my friendly ability will get a boost. Which means I can come over here and use the combination of Excited and that boost to do a lot of damage to the Master Alchemist. Haha! Can't cope with being humiliated, apparently. Is completely immune from impress abilities. Wow. Yeah, and they got reinforcements. So this is why I say don't bother with the um Don't bother with the mooks, they just keep coming back. Ooh, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh, damn it, they got one of the scythe guys now. I need to finish this quickly. Uh, oh, darn it. They're stunned, they can't do anything. That's not good. Okay, let's just keep wearing down the Master Alchemist. We should be okay. Oh, jeez. Hi, you missed! Yes, stupid alchemist. Why don't you go get a real science job, you bozo? Alright, let's think here. Um, if I end the fight now, I think we'll still be devious, so... Uh, I'm going to try and take out some mooks to make us friendly again. <laughs> Okay. Yahoo! Alright, that makes us friendly. Alright, um... Hmm. Think here, let's think. And now hopefully Kwame can finish this guy off. Yep, yeah, we've got the friendly attitude. He finishes that guy off. Actually no, the Master Alchemist is a woman. Finishes her off then. And we win. Whew. Okay, so we're friends with the mysterious cult now. <laughs> I'd have thought Kwame would believe in the occult, wouldn't you? I mean, he is, um... He is supposed to be like the African witch doctor kind of thing, so it makes sense he would. So let's see what we get. The Philosopher's Stone. Let's go for that one. And so we won our expedition. Got mountainous amounts of resources. Look at that status! 
<laughs> uh, that's good. So, um, yeah, so that was Renowned Explorers International Society. Um, I did just realize I have misspelt that this whole time on my video here. <laughs> it says international. Um, <laughs> uh, can I fix that? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, um, hang on. International. There we go. <laughs> So, um, that's been misspelt this whole video, that's a little embarrassing, but, um, aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this Clockwork preview. If you feel like giving this game a go, it is on Steam, I can highly recommend it, and, well, yeah, that's it, I guess. Anyway, I have been Mr. Clockwork Apple, goodbye. <laughs>